Hello, hello to all Pokemon fans. If you're wondering if you can now play Pokemon Legends Arceus into your PC and you don't know how to do that, this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch because I'm going to teach you on how to install Pokemon Legends Arceus into your PC and how to optimize and run it, okay? So what you need is that you have to install these files here that I have in my desktop and that you should have also installed Ryujin's emulator. So as of recording this video tutorial, the latest build of Ryujin's emulator is 1.1. 650 and i have here pokemon legends arches and i have it in its latest version which is 1.1.1 so i'm going to teach you where to get using emulator first okay so in order for you to play pokemon legends arches so i'm going to minimize this and then open a web browser here and just type in Ryujinx emulator and hit search and go to ryujinx.org that is their official website click on that okay and then go to download and if you're using Mac, you can download here. And if you're using Linux, you can also download here. And if you're Windows, like me, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to download it here. But since I have already uh, installed the Ryujinx emulator, I'm just going to skip on this part. But the download and installation process is really straightforward, and that is really easy to do, and anyone can do this. So I'm just going to minimize this now. And I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded and installed the latest build of Ryujinx emulator. So if this is your first installation of Ryujinx emulator, so please do run the emulator now. And then you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files in order for you to play and run Nintendo Switch games. So what are those files? So those files are uh, the Nintendo Switch keys, which is in version 15 and 16, and that you should have the version firmware uh, 16 of the Nintendo Switch, and that you have the Pokemon Legends Arceus in XEI file format, and Pokemon Legends Arceus um, updated file should be in NSP or XEI file format, okay? So... Uh, if you're asking me where to get all of these files, um, legally speaking, the only way to, to get all of these files legally is that you own a Nintendo Switch console and that you have modded your Nintendo Switch and that you have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if you have installed a custom firmware in it, that means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those system files, just copy the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware files into your PC. And in order for you to get Pokemon Legends Arceus, there's no other way, but you should own the game and buy the game and have a physical copy of that game and digitally back up that game into an XEI or NSP file format, just like mine here. So if you don't own an Insta Switch, or if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware in it, I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all of these files. So in order for you to get all of these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in the screen, and then you should scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you will be redirected to the page wherein you can download all these files. So once you are in AppRooms.com, all you have to do is just hover down into the middle part of the page so that you'll get the Pokemon Legends Arceus in XEI file format and the updated version in NSP file format. So once you have done that, all you have to do now is just to get and install the keys and firmware which is in the bottom part of the website so be sure to download that so be sure to check out the entirety of the website in order for you to get all of these files here that i have in my desktop so once you have downloaded and have a copy of that to just transfer them into your pc or we'll put them anywhere into your pc as long as you know where you have set them so now it's time to open Ryujin's emulator again, and it's time to install these files. To install these files, just go to Ryujin's, go to File, open Ryujin's folder, and then go click on the system folder here, and then open the keys file. So we're gonna install first the version 15, and then all we have to do is just drag and drop and copy these files into this folder. This folder should be empty because this is your first installation. Now go to the version 16 for the keys, and it will have only the production keys. So the production case is the only updated file in here so we're gonna replace it with the new product keys and then close in that then close in this folder now the next step now is to install the firmware file to install the firmware all you have to do is just go to tools install a firmware install a firmware from xei or zip file click in that and locate your firmware file to do this just locate on the firmware files into your pc wherever you have put them click on that hit open and it will say that it will install the firmware yes successfully installed you'll know that it has successfully installed the firmware because it will change the nintendo uh i mean the regions emulator system version into version 16 the same as the firmware and it will also show all of your game icons for your nintendo switch so what's the next step now the next step now is to update your pokemon legends arches into its latest version to do this just right click on the game title and go to manage style updates as you can see here i have already set them but if you don't know how to set them i'm just going to show you now go to add and then locate your nintendo switch system i mean nintendo switch uh 
games and then locate the updated version, uh, which he, which is here, here. It is a 91 MB file size. Click and add. Since I have uh, set this up, I'm just gonna remove the other one and go back to the one that I have set already and hit save. And now that's how you update your Pokemon Legends Arceus into 1.1.1. Now, the next step is to optimize your using emulator so that you can play this game smoothly into your PC. To do this, just go to options, go to settings, and in this part, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see in the screen. So in the game directories, uh, this is where you'll put your Nintendo Switch games. It could be anywhere as long as you know where to put them, but you should, uh, but the games that, uh, but the Nintendo Switch games should be in XCI or NSP file format in order for you to detect these games. Now go to input, Use a controller in playing Nintendo Switch games because it's really hard if you're using mouse and keyboard. So to set this, I'm just going to connect my uh, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here and connect it via USB cable. Then go to Player 1, hit Configure, and it will be detected here. So if you have a PlayStation or Xbox controller, you can use that and then map them up according to your liking. But the dead zone should be set in 2.20% so that there'll be no drifting into your gameplay, okay? So hit save. Now go to system here. Just copy my settings here. Just copy everything. Now in the graphics tab, this is the most important part. So graphics back in multi threading should be on. Graphics back and should be in Vulkan. The preferred GPU is your dedicated graphics card. Enhancement is that enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale it should be in two times resolution. And that will make the game more sharper and much more beautiful. But if your PC can handle that, then use the native resolution of the Switch. But for me, I'm going for two times resolution. Post processing should be set to none, upscale by linear, and isotropic filtering should be auto, and aspect ratio should be 16 by 9. And once done, hit apply and save. So that's how you optimize your UGENX emulator now, and that your UGENX emulator is fully optimized to run any Nintendo Switch games. So a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm going to show you a gameplay of Pokemon Legends Arceus because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they want it to be shown on the internet. So if I show you a gameplay that Pokemon Legends Arceus is running in UGENX emulator, then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But to show you some proof that this game will run into uh, UGENX emulator, I'm going to boot up this game into the title screen and just stop the emulation from there, okay? So I'm just going to blur the screen here so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike. So as you can see here, this is the title screen and it runs perfectly well. So I'm just going to stop the emulation now. And that's my proof that Pokemon Legends Arches is running quite well into my PC. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pokemon Legends Arches into my PC or into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. But as long as you have followed all the steps in this video tutorial, you're guaranteed to play this game into your PC with no issues at all. So please do subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye for now.